I, in my honest opinion, I think he's better than Fei Sway. In my opinion, literally watching this kid build, it's something you've never seen before. I guarantee you, unless you've like watched this guy before, you've never seen building like this. This kid is the new meta. And I hope to God, I hope to God that building never gets this advanced like to where everyone is this good. Because if that happens, this game is going to become unplayable and it's going to get ridiculous. <laughs> He's next level, man! How does he do that? He's so dominant and creative. A creative building, it's nuts. Dude, this kid is the best creative player. I don't even care, bro. That's actually ridiculous. I didn't know, I didn't know that was possible. Dude, he really just makes me want to give up on this game. He's joined Parallel, and I love watching him so much because he's really one of the key community members who just drives this game forward, man. Every single thing he does, he's always ahead of the game. He's playing this game in the absolute. He's playing it in the future, man. It's crazy. This defies gravity. I don't have words to describe it. Like this side jump here, like it's on a whole other level of side jumping. Like this dude has transcended in the art of side jumping. I don't even know. So this is why I'm not good at this game anymore and I haven't been uploading, dude. This is why. DJ Lad somehow takes every new concept in Fortnite, every new building concept, every new trick, and then converts it into his own thing and pushes it for further. Like if you want to find a channel that is really pushing the boundaries of creative Fortnite and how people build fight each other, this is the channel, man. This is it. EJ Lad, EJ Lad, EJ Lad, EJ Lad. Alrighty, hello, hello, you horny people. Today's video is an absolute banger. We're gonna be going back and reliving my journey to joining Parallel, and I can tell you what, mate, it was not bloody easy. I was busting my ass off for months before I was picked up to the team. But uh, we're gonna be going back and looking at how and when I was picked up. We're also gonna have a quick squeeze at my gaming history, and then we might have a look at some highlights of my time here on YouTube so far. And to kick us off, we're gonna have a geese at the montage that Squeaks and I made that took us just under two months to make. So we really put some blood, sweat and tears into this bad boy. And uh, we we're really happy with how it turned out. It was basically the video that got me into parallel. We're also going to hear some opinions and thoughts on the video from a couple lads in the community. But just before we dive into that, I only ask two things of you lads. One, to drop a like. And two, Get this video up at your family dinner tonight, because I know the family will froth it. No, but seriously, a lot of effort went into making this video, so drop a like and comment, and I hope you guys enjoy. The taste of cherries Well, at the time, no one was putting insane effort into creative montages. And not only did you guys put months into making this, but the clip standards were on a whole nother planet. I was talking to Gotti, sends up for Reggie's, set up at last time, sign us to sign. Some could even say that that montage is what started the whole creative trend of going for insane clips. So EJ and I's dual tiles was probably the most unique montage in the entirety of like creative Fortnite, mainly just because it included tricks that nobody like seen before. You guys were seriously the pioneers of the creative scene. He does 
has multiple things here that are just like it just makes my brain melt away. like what <laughs> Dude, what is this game now? And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. This kid is the greatest builder of all time. Get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. And it's a ticket talking mother for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. Comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it. So this is the big setup tour you've all been asking for. Now, I'm not sure if most of you remember, but I did a Q&A about a month or so ago, and in that video I said that I played laying down. Now, I'm sure most of you thought I was taking the piss and pulling your leg, but no, I was actually telling the truth, I played laying down. Yes, I lay down when I play. A lot of people think I'm the biggest freak for that, but I see it as if, mate, would you rather be comfy? Would you rather be nice and cushioned, relax and kick back? Or would you rather sit in a hard fucking chair for six hours a day. It's like, mate, I'm kicking back laying down. Every day of the week, no questions asked. And if you see my videos, I kind of like sit up usually like this. A little, so I don't look like a complete crumb, but usually when I'm, I'm kicking back, mate. I'm, I'm all the way down here. I'm like, hey, I'm just like, I'm full slouched out. That's nah, good. It's, uh, it's real good. I don't remember when I first started laying down playing. I always used to have like a lazy boy, one of those chairs where you kick the kick your legs up and arms up here. And it's like, hey, this is for Ollie. Well, I guess you could call me a bit of a couch potato. wonder if I could hold the title for the best player in the world who lays down when they play. I'm sure there'd be not much fucking competition. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a problem with laying down. You know, the old shins, they get fucking hammered on this desk. I, I'm thinking of doing a video one day, maybe, of just how I actually play. And just lay down like this. And, hey, what's going on, folks? I can just jam out like this. <laughs> oh, getting banned. Oh, my God. That fucking bent me over so hard. There was a period there where I couldn't like get new clips. I was just uploading old shit and getting footage from other people. It really stuffed up my channel there for a while while I was running around trying to find parts. So I needed a fucking visit from Santa. I got banned a total of three times. And people say like, why do you hate Epic so much, EJ? Well, they fucking PC banned me three times and they took away the fucking dash. Why wouldn't I hate him? They're bloody stinky pigs. Yeah, for the people who don't know, I got banned for using a FOV slider in creative. I never used it in a public match. I only used it in creative and I got hardware banned three times. <laughs> yeah, epic. They weren't bloody mucking around. They banned me and then they fucking spat on me by getting rid of the dash. Bloody dogs. Yeah, but after I got banned and they took out the dash, I don't know, fuck, it just, it just all went downhill from there. I kind of stopped losing interest in the game. It really just... Kicked me in the nuts. Yes, the future is looking quite bright for me. I've kind of steered away from the old uh, Fortnite montage scene. And I'm kind of dabbling in the more personality kind of videos. I've started playing Warzone. I'm posting Warzone cut comms. And uh, I'm bloody frothing it. It's actually really fun to be back on Call of Duty. I had a big break from uh, COD there for a while. But I used to play it a fair bit back in the day. I was a trick shotter and a sniper. And I've I've been around since the bloody the dawn of the days. Real time. Yeah, COD's always had a soft spot in my heart, and it's good to be back on it. I'm having a lot of fun on it at the moment, and uh, my supporters are actually enjoying it. You know, I thought when I was switching content, I thought I was going to get like 10k views, 20k views. But uh, we're getting like 50k plus, and that's like a quarter of my subs. It, it's insane. Yeah, I've really been mixing up the content. I've basically done a complete switch, and we're doing well. A lot of people loved Big Detective Craig. <laughs> Everyone keeps asking me when's Detective Craig coming back, and he might be coming back sooner than you think, folks. Oh, I smell a fucking tutor.
I won't give anything away, but uh, keep an eye out. Apparently, he's getting a bit horny. He's on a holiday at the moment, but uh, apparently he's itching his nuts to get back into the scene. Dude, look at these edits! You've never seen stuff- you've never seen stuff like that before. You haven't! You haven't! Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. 